hey y'all hope you had a good day just came to chit chat with you for a quick second that's what I love about YouTube if you're bored you want to share some information got a camera got five minutes go for it so um, look at the day same earrings blue 57 earrings um, a khaki kind of cargo looking dress Let's see how far I can back up like that Right, it has a little drawstring tie so you can make it cinched around the waist a little bit tighter. Goes down to a little bit past my knee area. And then I have on brown boots with it. So, uh, got lots of compliments on it today. And um, let's see, hair, simple ponytail. Anywho, so. I have so many things in my mind right now, but one thing I was thinking about because I was in my bathroom and I was looking at my shower and all the shampoos and conditioners that I have and I've been seeing a lot of people, big chop, you know, they're getting ready for the spring and the summer when it's heating up and they're just going to do it now. So hopefully, you know, their TWA will have sprouted a little bit by summertime and it just seems like when you BC you become a PG. So when you big chop, you become a product junkie. And I think it's because you're trying to figure out what your hair likes and what you like, what you can afford, what's simple, what smells good, what the ingredients, all those things. And nowadays, there are a lot of product lines that are starting to cater to naturals when you go in the store they're screaming at you you know chemical free and no uh you know no paraben and and no all those ingredients that we we really shun like you know no petroleum no mineral oil and you know may not tested on animals and so you're like oh and then they'll they'll say something like you know made with shea butter made with cocoa made with jojoba and you're like oh okay you know and then you get it home and you're like hold up this has like two percent coconut oil, olive oil, shea butter. I've been duped. Not only that, you buy something and nothing hardly ever comes in small containers anymore. Everything is eight ounces and up. You might find a four ounce container of um, unrefined shea butter, maybe, maybe, but stuff comes in large quantities. So if you get something and you hated it or you didn't have any use for it, you're stuck with it. Key point, let's look in my cabinet really quick. My phone's ringing. Here's one thing I got, okay? This is Softy Mango Butter Daily Hair Dress. Saw this in the store, I was like, oh, it says enriched with shea, and it's mango, and ingredients, petroleum, shea butter, uh, mango, seed butter, coconut oil, fragrance, right? Oh, oh, it doesn't smell that bad. What am I going to use this for? Okay? I'm not really pressing my hair, per se, anymore like that. Daily hairdresser. I'm not going to put it on my scalp. Had this bad boy for a good year. Another one's in here. I know what's in here. Hold on. Yeah, it's me banging stuff around. Well, that's sad. I have so much crap, I can't even find the crap that I want to complain about. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I was going to show you my container of Kinky Curly that I honestly and truly bought over a year and a half ago. Hopefully it hasn't been two years but at least a year ago. It's it's like this much full. I probably used this much of it. And it was just like, I think for a small container, it was like, uh, I don't know, $25. So um, yeah, you know, it was expensive. I say all this to say that if you just be seed, or you've been natural for a while, 
or whatever the case may be and you're looking to try new products please 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 check out the natural hair blogs curly nikki i think there's um a lot of dot blog spots a lot of the uh youtube gurus have blog spots and they're always giving away hair products people are always swapping out hair products and before you waste your money and go buy a big huge container of eco olive oil styling gel this is the 32 fluid ounce maybe you end up liking the pink one or the clear one or you don't like it at all and you like icy fantasia but now you're stuck with this bad boy maybe it only costs you $4.99 or $5.99 but if you're not gonna use it swap it okay or sell it or whatever give somebody else a chance to try it without being stuck and obligated like you were don't waste all your money buying stuff because I can promise you after everything is said and done every natural has about four to five items that they use now when your hair is in different stages yes you're gonna need different things you're gonna use different shampoos eventually your hair will stop responding to certain things but at the end of the day all of us have our go-to products they don't really change that much and all that other crap that we bought is in the under the cabinet somewhere okay it's in the closet in a rubbermaid tin and it's losing shelf life so do yourself some due diligence and justice and sign up for these blogs that are available enter contests even if it's just putting in a comment you know in somebody's video because you never know you might win and you get to try something for free that you know normally you had to pay out of pocket for even if you're paying shipping you're still saving money than buying it yourself full retail price and check for coupons Google always has coupons for shipping you know ask the people the owners of stuff if they can give you samples before you buy it she did naturals always give samples she has a little sample pack you can try her products out she does raffles um, the essential, I'm rambling now, I want this to be quick. The essential balms and oils people, they give, they give samples. I think some beauty supply stores give samples of uh, mixed chicks, all that stuff. So I'm not saying don't experiment, don't try things. How else will you find what you love to use for your hair? But don't break the bank being a product junkie because there's so many ways around it that you owe it to yourself and to your bank account to... Be smart and be savvy with your money. Bye.